Disney local man is building a mobile dental bus that will help underserved kids in Guatemala. Zachary Moran Norris got a first-hand look at the bus and gives us the details on this massive project. Imagine this school bus transformed into a mobile dental office. That's the vision for one Foothills resident, but the mission doesn't stop there. For Don Brown, this project is a labor of love with an emphasis on labor. The plumbing system, removing all the seats, kind of rearranging stuff inside a little bit. It adds up quite a few hours. All of this so this bus can soon brighten the smiles of kids in Guatemala. I'm not quite sure of the route, but it's, it's, it's a significant drive, 2,500 miles to get, to get it down there. Brown is converting the bus into a dental office on wheels, outfitted with solar panels, batteries, and dental equipment. We've got uh, lithium batteries, a 6,500 watt inverter that'll be built into the cabinet. We've got an air compressor. Uh, uh, we've got a quiet air compressor that's being built in as well, refrigerator. There'll be a sink and various storage on this side. He's partnering with a nonprofit called H2O for Life that will drive the bus to a remote town in Guatemala called Popton, where many kids don't have access to dental care. The dental gets more and more scarce, and the people, that they just can't afford it. Most of the average, when you're making $5 a day, and a toothbrush costs $2.50, um, there's a choice there, and obviously it's not the dental. Brown is an RV service tech by day and specializes in solar and electrical systems. He's no stranger to putting those skills to use for countries in need. I was down in Haiti after the earthquake, helping him do work down there. Been over to the Philippines, did a couple things over there and whatnot. I hope enjoy doing, uh, obviously, the electrical side of things. And the proof is in the time he's dedicating to this bus and the people it will help along the way. We're going to see how well this works, and we were plus we're already talking in the future, maybe doing, doing a few more of them. Now, if you want to help support the project, we'll have a link to the fundraiser on our website at KYMA.com. Reporting in Yuma County, Zachary Moran Norris. Wow, such an amazing story. Thank you, Zachary.